Whew. Hello guys and welcome to this video which is going to be about my autumn healthy habits that I am trying to introduce now that it's autumn. It's officially autumn. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I do love autumn and I know it can be a time for me anyway where you can you know the weather gets darker things get cozier and you feel like maybe less motivated or you just have less of a drive to be physical maybe or be eat better eat healthier i know that i always crave like cozy things when it gets colder like hot chocolates and cakes and cinnamon buns you know my obsession um but this year i really want to try and just build good habits and be consistent with them because i think in general that's the key to being healthy is building good habits so that is what i'm focusing on and that is what i'm going to talk about in this video and i'm going to share with you some of my habits that i'm going to be doing this autumn and i want you to join me so i really want you to let me know whether you have like your october goals i'm gonna put mine in the video as well um, because I think it's really nice and I think it's really exciting to have some autumn winter goals that you want to achieve because we always have them for the summer so why not have them for the last three months of the year or four months October November the last three months of the year so some healthy habits that I am bringing in to this season are lots more water which I know is such a typical thing but a big thing for me that was on my goals literally for the month was to take water with me on the tube slash when I am commuting to work so having this on my goals list as well just makes it so much more like I want to do it like I want to achieve it so that I can tick it off my list um, which takes me on to another habit that I have been introducing now for the past few months which is really helping me when the seasons are changing and when I'm becoming demotivated which is journaling and I'm going to put my monthly journal prompts here and I'm going to put them down below in the description because each month at the end or at the start of every month I've been doing journal prompts and these are such a good way for me to set my goals for the coming month and I'm I'm loving them and it was so weird because I was chatting to my friend Francisca um yesterday and I was saying I really want to go like rock climbing with you and Eliza but I thought I was too busy but then I looked at my goals for the month and that was one of my goals and I thought and I knew if we didn't go this week it wouldn't get done this month because then I'm away so I, I put a message in the chat and I was like let's go climbing Tuesday evening who's free and now it's booked in and now we're going climbing and now I'll be able to tick that off my goals list and she was like oh my god you're so like goals driven and I was like I know but it actually works like it actually helps me because that's going to be a task that not even a task that's going to be an activity that's actually going to be way better for my mental health rather than you know like productivity wise and um, but because it was on my goals list I was like it needs to be done because if it's not done I'll be so unsatisfied so having and setting goals at the beginning of each month or the end of each month is an amazing habit to embody as the seasons are changing i have so many habits that i've wrote wrote them <laughs> that i've written down on my phone guys because honestly i am determined to be like the best person that i can be hopefully like at the end of the best person i can be i'm saying this completely wrong i am determined to be a better version of myself better version of who i am than who i am now by the end of this year by the end of 22 and we have three months guys we have three months to make those changes and i'm not saying this in like a toxic way or like a stop being so hard on yourself you need to stop being like too much pressure it's not i'm not saying it like that but i'm saying as we have this time to become the best version of ourselves that has ever existed so let's just use it and let's just try and be that person not in a toxic way not in a pressured way being the best version of yourself doesn't mean hustling doesn't mean unnecessary pressure doesn't mean working non-stop but in fact it can mean so many other things like taking care of yourself slowing down doing more meditations being more mindful all of these positive things and yeah so before I don't want this this is not toxic 
autumn habits guys this is realistic autumn habits slash winter slash q4 so another one of mine is to walk a lot more i want to be outside i want to be in nature and i want to be getting my steps in because over the next three months i'm actually going to be training slash going to the gym a lot less and that is because my living situation now i actually live a lot further away from the gym and every time i've been to the gym like on my day off it takes me around two to two and a half hours because the buses are shocking they are always delayed and yeah that wastes so much time it took me like almost an hour to get to the gym the other day and i don't have that much time to spend getting to the gym because then you spend an hour to an hour and a half actually in the gym and then you have to leave the gym and get ready for the day or get ready in the gym so and then you have to actually come home which who knows with the buses that could also take another hour so i'm actually training less and walking more because being active in the winter time and being active as the weather does get colder and life gets a bit more slow still being active is really important so i'm gonna be aiming to train like three to four times a week um i mean um if i can get in four to five times then absolutely amazing but i'm not about spending so much time training anymore when i could be spending that on other things that i really want to focus on over the next three months oh my god and this is a habit that i have just introduced into my morning routine and it's morning visualization okay so i've been doing it for one week so far and it's so so good i mean obviously i've only been doing it for one week so i'm not like I can't like see the visualizations coming to life yet but it makes me feel good and it makes me more productive and my next one is simple cooking so cooking simple meals like this doesn't even sound like a goal but it honestly is for me because it saves time and that's the biggest thing that is my like weakness right now or that is the main thing that i'm struggling right now is my time and i feel like my time is being taken away from me so cooking simple meals that are nutritious but are super quick and super easy that's a goal and that's something i have been kind of doing for a while but i just want to make it a goal of mine and make it even easier to cook and still get that nutrition in so that is what i'm going to be focusing focusing on as well over the autumn simple quick meals especially like when i'm on my own but still making them enjoyable and you know what i did I actually bought um, some plates and some bowls that are really cute and pretty. I went to Ikea and bought them the other day because I was like, you know what? When I am eating at home and when I am cooking, I want to eat out of a nice bowl and I want to drink my tea out of a nice mug and I want to drink my water out of my favourite shaped glasses. So I went to Ikea and I treated myself to those things because... If you're renting renting room then you'll know this you like have to use other people's things and which is you know it doesn't really bother me that much at all but then when you don't have like a nice big glass to drink from no I, i'll buy my own things and make sure that my meal times are actually really nice and enjoyable so although i'm being simple i'm also making it enjoyable and cute my last one which might also be a cliche is candles this candle is actually from turkey i think so i'm really really excited to use it it's handmade and made from soy as well and i haven't even cracked it open yet so that is happening candles um in the autumn winter time just make everything way more cozy so i'm also going to be doing that lighting candles and enjoying my you know my room and enjoying the vibe here you know making it cozy that is the vibe for the next few months the vibe is cozy yet productive yet peaceful peaceful not peaceful <laughs> peaceful if that's a word like pacing it you know i'm not going full on like crazy woman and then getting burnt out i'm taking my time and i'm pacing it and then my last autumn winter habit seasonal change 
is intentional time with friends. This is really, really important to me because for months, like I'm not exaggerating, for months I did not intentionally spend my time with my friends, my closest friends who I actually gain energy from. I mean, I did at the beginning when I first moved here, but then I kind of lost that, I felt like. But now I'm doing it again and I'm intentionally spending my time with friends and I'm saying no. Like, if I'm feeling like I need to get a certain thing done that day, or if I'm in a mode of work where I'm getting lots of things done and I'm productive, then I'm going to say no to some friends and I'm going to say, actually, I'm working on this right now, so I can't meet up with you, but... I will let you know and I was speaking to an amazing woman called Jennifer who I'm absolutely obsessed with and she was saying your friends if they're your friends obviously they should understand that but just let them know look I'm in this is what you guys can take this advice if you struggle with this she said just tell your friends I'm in a time now when I'm really trying to focus on my business I'm really trying to focus on growing this so I'm gonna probably end up saying no quite a lot but also, I will be quite spontaneous and I will ask you to do things every now and then. So that would be also really, really fun. But if I say no, don't take offence. It's just a time that I'm going through right now, a really focused time. I hope, you know, that's okay. And if they're your friends, they're obviously going to say, girl, go for it. Like, do you do you. Crush your biz. And I'll miss you. So hopefully we will see each other. That's the vibe I'm taking and that is the direction I'm going in and hopefully my friends can actually plan things in advance because when my friends plan things in advance then I'm super grateful, then I'm like, whew, okay, that feels way less stressful for me. Having things planned in advance just feels like I'm okay. But spontaneous things, when things feel out of my control, that's not that fun but I also need to like work on that. Um, and I think that takes me to the end of this video with shockingly bad lighting so I apologize about that. Those were my autumn habits slash habits I'm implementing for the last three months of this year because it's going to be great guys. We have this time so let's use it to the best of our ability. Let's not be hard on ourselves, let's not apply unnecessary pressure but let's apply the right amount of pressure in order to grow that little bit more than we are right now. Buy yourself some pretty plates and bowls. If you didn't get anything from this video, then maybe, maybe this is one thing because it made me really happy. And I hate that the sticker wouldn't come off this. I'm gonna try and get that off because that is just a pet peeve, right? You know, when the sticker is still on the, the things, no way. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna leave this here. Do let me know what you think. Let me know, let me know what habits, like please, let me know any autumn habits because I love talking about this stuff and I would love to know actually. So in the comments below, let me know and let's chat, let's do this, let's stay hydrated and let's, you know, become, the best there has ever been of ourselves yet. I will see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day, week, month, life. Bye.